things have changed, and it's the culinary epicenter, where this family has been serving up their Caribbean soul food for 20 years. So you're gonna love it. This is a Welton Street Cafe. And when you tell somebody about the restaurant, how do you describe it? It's legit. How long you got on them chops already? There is nothing like when you get a pork chop that is fried to perfection, and then someone puts some gravy on top. Now we're gonna get into some fried pork chop. I'm gonna just make my little seasoning here. Salt, garlic powder. You've had to see this neighborhood change quite a bit oh, yes. in the 20 years you've been here. Lots, lots, lots. Black pepper. Paprika. Well, back in the day, this was the jazz epicenter, right? Just about every other building had a bar, a club, or something. You don't see that anymore. You're kind of like the unofficial mayor of this whole area, I bet. Everybody knows you. Now I'm going to season them up. So bone-in pork chops. The flavor's in the bone. We'll drop in flour, fry them, four minutes on each side. Nice little shallow fry again. I like the way you roll. Now we're ready to make the gravy. So we got a little bit left in the bottom of the pan, lots of flavor. A little flour, onions, garlic, a little bit of salt in here, pepper, brown gravy flour, kitchen bouquet. Nice little color out of that. Add the water, let it simmer for 15 minutes, and add the pork chops back in. I like it. And we're going to do some greens with this? Yeah, we can. Oh, I love greens. Put the collard greens in. I mean, that's an elephant here right there. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I got to laugh now. We're going to be here all week. Add some garlic and some onions. Put a little bit of oil in it to keep the greens kind of loose. Got to keep your greens loose. Salt, garlic salt, habanero peppers, some black pepper. A little chicken base? I put my big old turkey in. That's a monster. How long are we going to let this cook? About two hours. You ready? Is this enough greens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I need to rent one of those booths to lay down in and take a nap. Is that right? Pork chops don't get as much play as they deserve. It's impossible for this pork chop to be dry. It sits in there in this bath of gravy. And the greens, they still got a little bite. They're not mushy. Love a little bit of that smoke. And that turkey leg, that lights out right there. Well done, my friend. Pork chop's ready. The gravy's absolutely delicious. With most people's greens, I'm like reaching for hot sauce. I'm reaching for salt and pepper. I come here, I don't reach for anything but my fork. That's the truth. I have enough to feed me and myself and I for two, three days. Very fortunate to have a place like this. And they all treat you like family as well. They know your name. Me, myself, and I. 